This month, we're bringing you Fine Times, one of 2013's bands to watch for. Jeff, Matthew, Fine Times. Can you guys tell me a little bit about how the project came together? Well, Matt and I met at a record store a few years ago. We had uh, sort of bonded over some Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen detective videos that Matt, <laughs> Matt owned. He actually owned all of them. I've seen most of them, but I don't own any of them. Yeah. From there, we had got together and started doing some recording. And it just kind of, one thing after the other, kind of led us to where we, uh, where we are now. Guys, the sound. Obviously pop influence, yes. yeah. but there's a lot of that 80s keyboard sound. And was that your idea? Did, did you combine your, both of your influences? How did that come about? Well, we, like I grew up listening to whatever my mom was listening to, and she was really big on pop. So like growing up, I loved like Michael Jackson, Prince, George Michael. Jeff's a little bit of a different story, I think, but more of a rock guy, yeah. so I come from more of like a uh, guitar, guitar background. So where his stuff becomes pretty uh, synth based, a lot of the ideas that I'll track will be guitar, guitar based. But working with him for as long as I have, a lot of it um, has begun to incorporate some synth into some of my things. Because this guy's all about hooks, which I'm all about too. Because you want things that you can bop your head, head to. So he's had kind of a profound effect. He's probably had more of an effect on the way that I write songs than I've had on uh, on him. So I'm kind of the Robin, and he's the uh, he's the Batman. How many years has it been? Yeah, like well, you eight. moved you moved out to Vancouver in 2000, 2003. Three. So I, I met yeah. you basically when I moved out right yeah. away. Yeah. So ten years. So, really? Yeah. Don't say that. That, that really dates. Old. That yeah, really that dates yeah. us. <laughs> so back to the sound, because the amazing part of this is. Everything sounds so orchestrated and big and precise, and it is still the two of you. Our demos are pretty elaborate. I, I do all of the writing on the computer, and so, you know, we'll start with the foundation, we'll start with drums, and then just build from there. I'm really big on layers. I love to just layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. Are you guys writing right now? We yeah. are, yeah, we're getting back to writing. Like some of the songs, Hey Judas, which is the, the, first, the single. first single that we have out, that, that song, we wrote it three, three years ago. So for us, I mean, this is, this, it's, it's really old. <laughs> Even though it's really new, you know, yeah. it's sparkly. And it is fresh. really new from, because there's been a snowball effect since this came out a few months ago. The older that I get, I think um, it's uh, healthier to expect less and just, you know, put, put sort of your energy and focus into what you into what you want to do and what you're passionate about. We've been doing this for a while and we've had a lot of ups and we've had a lot of downs. So you just sort of set yourself up with mediocre expectations and then if they go better than expected, <laughs> you're elated. And if they don't, you're that sounds that's exactly bad. What I, I say I say have no expectations, not mediocre. That sounds <laughs> <laughs> Mediocre like, expectations. That's, that's, that's like a C, right? Yeah. That's, it's yeah. Like, Minimal. Let's yeah. Let's hope we get fifty percent on this test of oh, no, life. That, yeah, it's like yeah. a C minus. Yeah. I'm like C plus. Yeah, I think C you guys plus. are pretty much. You you have an A plus right now going for you. Oh, well, thank you. you yeah. My that. parents think so. Yeah. For more info about Fine Times, visit SiriusXM.ca. We'll see you again next month.